Dear all, welcome to the playlist of training on competitive examination. In the previous session, I have discussed about the logical instructions used in 8085 microprocessor and also I have discussed some important questions based on the topic. So in this session, I am going to discuss the data transfer instructions which are used in 8085 microprocessor. We will have a brief discussion first. Later on, we can go for uh, problems. First and foremost, let's understand what do we mean by data transfer instruction? So what is the definition of data transfer instruction and the necessity? See, the data transfer instructions are the instructions which transfers data in the microprocessor. So that is necessary. You know what is fetch, execute, etc. What is happening in case of microprocessor. And also, it is also called copy instructions. Another synonym of data transfer instruction is copy instruction. Sometimes you may get like uh, what are the copy instructions which are used in 8085. So likewise they may ask the questions at that time you can able to point out. Say copy instructions and data transfer instruction both are identical. As you can able to see one table. In that table you can see different type of data uh, that uh, different type of data transfer instructions for example MVA MVA means move immediate we have whenever we discussed about addressing mode we have discussed about these type of instructions MVA then LDA load accumulator STM means store accumulator okay so likewise you need to remember move okay so these are the different type of opcode this opcode you must have familiar clear push instruct pu push pop etc this is for exchange okay wherever you can see the x that means register pair and uh, these are the operands for example move rd comma rs so what is the final result both are registers actually uh, the rs uh, register will be stored in rd so move a b uh, okay simple a is equal to b that's it a is equal to b that's the word meaning uh, then move rd comma m rd is equal to mc move for example move a comma two zero 50H. This is a hexadecimal information, hexadecimal data. Similarly, MBA. Okay. Um, uh, that means uh, C. RD, 8 bit data. So, 8 bit data will be stored in RD. MBA A, 50. 50H will be stored in uh, accumulator. Okay. A means accumulator register. Yeah, I stand for immediate. Hope you are understanding. So, uh, similarly, LDA, load accumulator okay load accumulator this is sta sta means uh, uh, sta for example clear that uh, like this you have to mention 2050 okay this is for store accumulator okay likewise you have to familiar now let us familiar some important questions based on the topic so note down let me note down the first question dash instruction is used for 16 bit addition see the for 16 bit addition so you are using in my 80 microprocessor as dad instruction dad okay dad for example dadb dadc like this you can give the instruction okay so that's the importance question number two so we can see the two hexadecimal data 99h plus 99h the result should be 198 198 but you are getting 132 is it uh, right or not yes it is right but uh, this is actually hexadecimal hexadecimal it is hexadecimal but uh, uh, it is uh, we'll think that this is wrong but this is a hexadecimal data so you have to convert hexadecimal into decimal okay hexadecimal should be converted into decimal data yes the decimal so when it comes to decimal definitely it will be 198 so you can able to mention this is 1 uh, this should be 9 this should be 8 how it is going to happen i will show you in the next question function of daa what is the function of daa daa is nothing but the name of the instruction is decimal adjust after addition that is called daa so just before i have shown you one example look at this so the right answer is 198 but it is showing that 132 it is a hexadecimal so hexadecimal should be converted into decimal value so in that for that purpose we are using daa so here you please select da used for converting hexadecimal to decimal b is the right answer then question number 
for DAA. What is the full form of DAA? Please recall of DAA. Uh, decimal adjust after addition. So the full form of DAA that is uh, we familiar. It is an example of implied or implicit addressing mode. Okay. Question number five. DADB. What is the meaning of DADB? So DADB B means uh, see. It is used for see the statements. It is used for sixteen bit addition. It is correct. DAD is a double addition. That is also absolutely right. Why double addition? Look at this. HL pair and uh, BC register. Okay. So we can say that uh, all the statements are correct as far as DADB concerned. So please select option D. Now another instruction. XTHL. So what is XTHL? First of all, you have to recall what is XTHL. Okay. XTHL means exchange the top with the HL register. Okay, so we have to see the uh, word meaning exchange the top with the HL register. Now see here what is going to happen. Uh, this is correct. Exchange the top with the HL register. That is correct. But to see the statements. These statements are L. SP will be uh, will be stored in L and vice versa. This is also same, and the better you select option D. See the right answer is right answer for the question is uh, option D. Option D is the right answer. Please select option D. X T H L. All statements are correct. Now question number seven. X C H G. What is the word meaning of X instruction uh, instruction of X C H G? X T X T means exchange. That means uh, this is the right answer. Uh, so. The exchange of this data, HL and DE. Okay, DE is one 16-bit register. HL is also 16-bit register, 16-bit data. So the data, 16-bit data, uh, have have been uh, transferring each other. Okay, exchanging. That's the word meaning of XCHG. Now question number eight, SBA. Uh, SBA 30H. SBA means what? What is SBA? So you have to recall the uh, statement. Subtract borrow with the immediate. That is the elaboration of SBA. Here the thing is, uh, the first one is incorrect. Second one is also incorrect. But third, third, all of these also incorrect. So here the right answer is, first of all, uh, the subtraction operation will be taken place A minus, then 30H, then carry flag. That will be stored in accumulator. So C is the correct answer. Please uh, uh, right, pick the right answer. Please choose the right answer. Okay, you can hit the option C. Clear? Yeah. That is the word meaning of the instruction. Next, PCHL. PC means you know program counter, right? PCHL. In case of PCHL, uh, the thing is, uh, the same thing will be happening over there. See, you look at this. This is the correct answer. You have to see what is PCHL. Okay. What is the importance of PCHL? It is very important, PCHL. Identify the correct answer for PCHL. That means uh, HL is going to store in PC. The HL HL is going to store in PC. C is the right answer. Okay, HL HL is going to store in PC. That's the right answer. PCHL. Only one direction. So please select option C. Uh, question number ten. SPHL. S, uh, what is SP? SP means stack pointer. What is PC? PC means a program counter. SP means a stack pointer. Correct. Here, what is the meaning? Uh, see, the HL is going to store in the stack pointer. So, please select option A. Option A is the correct answer. Okay. If you are having any clarification, please put up in the comment box. Surely, I will revert back. So, kindly go through these questions and uh, remember the syntax and the operation of the instruction surely uh, this will help you out for competitive examination they may ask in different application level okay uh, at that time uh, you have to apply your logic and uh, reach the correct answer okay so i'm going to conclude thank you for watching this video